Now I wasn't actually planning to make a video on this deck, as just about everyone's week 1 impression of the deck has been extremely negative. Not too surprising considering most people don't aspire to be bricklayers. But then I remembered something. The most popular deck on ladder at the moment is actually Blue Eyes, and not too far after that you'll find yourself Gaia, and people who are still actively trying to make Odd Eyes work. So I thought how bad could it be, and decided to stop listening to what everyone else thought, and just try this shit myself. I won 8 out of the 10 games I played. So here's the deck list. Now before I get into the deck list, just a reminder that if you are enjoying any of the content you are watching or find any of it useful, to please show your support in the video and for the creator by dropping a like on the video down below and subscribing to the channel whilst you're down there. I make a ton of content every week covering various lists, guides, updates, memes, a lot of memes, and I occasionally run livestream tournaments that anyone can join. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Alright, so I'll be the first to admit I probably got quite lucky with my run, and I don't expect this deck to average an 80% win rate. It's probably sitting a lot lower than that. The people I ended up playing against were generally pretty dumb, and I did get a lot of dragon opponents to feast on, and my draws weren't exactly as bricky as normal. But I do think this deck is definitely a lot better than everyone thinks, especially on ladder considering the amount of dragon players around the place. Also, I think another reason people are just drastically under-evaluating this deck is because people are expecting this to be some kind of turbo combo, and because you're unable to summon Buster Dragon plus Big Daddy turn 1, the deck just must be complete trash, which just isn't true. You just have to play it a bit slower and set up. The deck is obviously not going to be top tier, and will probably never top cut in any tournament format, but it's definitely playable and coggable for an art type. As for the decklist itself, you guys are probably very familiar with how all this stuff works by now, so I'll just go over the new cards briefly. Memories is a new trap card that allows you to discard a Destruction Sword card to special summon a Buster Blader monster from the deck. You can banish this trap card from the graveyard along with the materials required to fusion summon Big Daddy, and fusion summon him. Now keep in mind trap cards in the graveyard can just basically be used whenever, including during your opponent's turn. The other new card is Buster Dragon. All monsters your opponent controls become dragon type monsters. Once per turn if you do not control a buster blade and monster, you can target one in your graveyard and special summon it. And its last effect isn't relevant to my list. Alright guys, I'm going to jump straight to the gameplay commentary portion of the video. Remember if you are enjoying the video or finding any of the content useful, to please drop a like down below and consider subscribing to the channel whilst you're down there. Enjoy the gameplay. Alright, let's get into it. So as you can see, this deck list went 8 wins out of the 10 losses I played with it, which it's pretty surprising, but then again, there was a lot of dragon matchups, there was a lot of dumb opponents, I didn't brick as much as you'll expect, so I wouldn't expect you guys to be getting 80% win rates with this deck. It was nice though to have an 8 out of 10 win streak after trying to play vampires and demoting myself from Legend 4 down to 1, which was uh, an experience. So anyway, let's get into the actual replays. Alright. So it's a shame we didn't get any Blue Eyes for your players today. I only played, in, eight, in 10 games I played, I played against two Blue Eyes players. One beat me by negating, I bricked pretty hard, and then he negated my um, little searchy boy. And the other one conceded as soon as he saw I was playing Buster Blader, so... <laughs> yeah, sadly no no Blue Eyes for your players, which I would have liked, but what can you do? Alright, so we had a pretty rough starting hand, but thankfully our opponent is playing a uh, Dragon deck, so it's not too bad. And we have plenty of delay, so if we get rid of his field spell, which is the top priority, our kite roids are active, and we won't die. So did a terrible hand now that I think about it. Fucking kite roids versus this field spell, and DNA surgery versus a dragon deck. Thankfully though we do have our destruction sword, so if we ever draw our final piece, we can just use his monster and we're good. So we drew our new trap card, this means we can now discard the spell card to summon a Buster Blader whenever you like. Point tries to swing in, now he's in the battle phase, he can't use his Magical Knight's effect, so we just summon our Bust Buster Blader safely. And because dragons are everywhere, it's got 4000 attack. Now we have the spell in the grave, plus we draw a sand slow level. The spell card to hand. Now I had a pretty clever lethal, well not, not too clever lethal here, but my plan was I was going to activate this spell. I don't think this is how I was meant to play it, there's probably better ways I could have played this. My plan was to activate the spell, he would then have to use this card's effect in response, or I had fusion summon using it. 
He destroyed my card, and as you'll see, I can then revive it, and his monster will have zero attack, and I'll have a 4,000 attack on board. That was the plan. But, uh, sadly, our opponent had a, uh, as you're about to see, had this dude. So no lethal, but we're not too worried. We've still got a fusion summon on board if he summoned another dragon, and we've got Kyroids and Grave. Not to mention, as soon as he destroys my Buster Blader, my trap card's active. Meaning we can summon out the big boy, Big Daddy himself. The man who's fucking so large, even his name doesn't fit on the card. Mr. Space Typhoon, destroying our card. Like, at this point, we're just not really worried at all. He does end up, I think, destroying my, uh, dude, but it doesn't matter too much, because we've still got the, uh, fusion spell engraved, so we can just add that back to hand next turn. And we have Kite Roid still as well. So discard a card, add the fusion spell back to hand, and we can now use his card as part of a fusion summon. Yeah, and he just draws a field spell. Unfortunately, we actually can't lethal him yet, because this card can't attack directly. So we have to wait just a little bit, so we can draw a sense our little dude and summon a Buster Blader again. He doesn't even bother summoning that card, because he knows. Yeah, draw a sense low level, summon a little guy, summon a Buster Blader. And he's gone. Oh, by the way, I didn't actually mention in the decklist portion of the video, I'm only using two of this trap card because I only own two of the trap card. If you own three of it, you should probably be using three of it. Because it's very, very good for this deck. Ex like, exceptionally good. So yeah, if you have three of this trap card, use three of it. I'm just using two because I only own two. Alright, game two. As you can see too, I'm playing Maya Valentine to disguise myself as a Harpy player. Not sure if that's of any use at all to me, but uh... It's probably more funny for the opponent whenever he sees the Harpy player and get completely shocked by the fact I'm playing Buster Blader. Nice, this guy was playing Abyss Actor. And this guy was a little bit... Weird, I'm not really sure. He had a pretty good, pretty nasty turn one. The, the one copy of Storm being able to nuke both my back row cards. Very nasty. I had a pretty good setup there too. But it does mean we do have a Dragon and our Buster Blader on board. When they do go to the graveyard, the trap card will be instantly active, which I think is what he was scared of, as you'll see in a bit. Because he decides he just doesn't want to... He doesn't want to destroy my stuff. Oh, at first he doesn't do anything here, but Cosmic Cyclone is back row. I have to pass the turn because I can't do literally anything. I don't want to give him a search by destroying this, so I just pass. But he then summons... his boy. So now at this point, he could activate its effect to get the, uh... Oh wait, never mind. That's, that's, Mad that's Madonna, okay. Well, I guess he actually couldn't really do a whole lot. Either way, he didn't want to destroy this or something. I don't know what's going on here. He didn't search for his, uh... Boss monster of the deck or anything, so we just sat on these guys. I don't know. Either way, even if he could summon his boss and destroy this, at least we would have been able to just activate the trap card, summon our boss anyway, so we are pretty safe. Hopefully. Didn't matter anyway, because we've got draw sense. Searching for our fusion spell, we can now summon our... Buster Dragon. And our trap card's activated in the grave to summon our other guy. Who has piercing damage, so... He was gone. Yeah, I'm not too sure though. I'm not sure if that guy just... Didn't know how his deck worked, or I missed something, or... I, know, I, feel, I feel like either he was too scared of my trap card in grave, or he just didn't know how to play his deck or something. I feel like that was very unoptimal what he was doing. Like, even if he had another level 4 in hand, maybe he could have gone to Abyss Dweller well, just by normal summoning. I don't know. Seems a bit weird. Either way, we got the dub and a pretty nice replay out of it.
Alright. And here's one of the poor people trying to make odd eyes work. The poor sad souls. Alright, Sky Iris, he's destroying his thing, searching for this guy. I think this was oh yeah, I think that's something amusing happened in this game actually. Alright, so he's got his keep in mind this man has a uh has the uh Dragon Pulse Magician on board. So in the, as a pendulum effect, if you have another magician in the other in the um, other zone, you can discard a card to destroy just target one face of that monster on the field and destroy it. Absolutely decimating counter to our boss monster. <laughs> He's just here to negate monster effects, so this is a bit annoying. Unfortunately, we don't have any way to remove it too, because we didn't draw any cosmics, so... Not really a whole lot to do, we're just going to set our cards and wait. Because our opponent is playing dragons, so... He summons his Odd Eyes Lancer Dragon. Tries to mean we're going to take the first hit, because taking the first hit means we can now do our draw sense. And we also have a Hollow Life Barrier to protect ourselves the rest of the turn. I'm not actually sure, I, I noticed like nobody's playing this in Buster Blader and I don't know why, it seems so good. Half your cards like being in the graveyard, like this card, and even your Buster Bladers like being in the graveyard for your destruction sword. And your quick play can be searched or whatever from graveyard, and you can send Kite Roids, it just seems so good. You can even keep your like tuna monster on board alive, just so you can summon a Buster Blader and do your Buster Dragon plays or whatever, just with this card. And I feel like this card's so good in the deck, I feel like people should try it more. Alright, then we draw sensing, searching out our little guy, searching our fusion spell, and we can summon our boss. And we can even keep the little guy on board, meaning we can summon out our other buster. And here's what I was talking about earlier, he activates the effect of this guy to discard to destroy our boss monster. At this point, he could have just killed us by just pendulum summoning, then exceed summoning, and popping this, and just going for lethal. He probably had something in the extra deck to do this. But he decides, <laughs> with his infinite wisdom, to use the other magician's effect, which targets back crow and removes it. And he hits himself the trap card. Meaning... As soon as we can just summon it again, as soon as we activate it, he knows. He just he was out of there. He just gave the fuck up. And even if he hit, even if he didn't give up, right? And he summoned a, an Xyz monster to try to destroy our boss monster, we had DNA surgery set as well. So we're gonna make everything into a dragon, even the monster he tries to Xyz summon, even if he has any. That poor guy. Alright, final game. And I reckon this guy was also an Odd Eyes player, I think. I don't quite remember. Oh no, this guy's the <laughs> this guy's just playing a bunch of trap cards. Kind of annoying. Kanadi is my uh, little guy. Not sure why, so I'm going to summon a Buster Blader or something, but then I guess you could just done that to the Buster, I, I don't know. Either way, summoning our Buster Blader from deck, Floodgate Trap Holes, we don't care too much, we're a fusion deck, if he turns one of our cards face down, we can just fusion summon with it. Got a Cosmic Slack, won't well, his Thingo. It's the second person I've come across in the last couple of days that's trying to run this card for some reason. Either way. DNA surgery, make everything into a dragon, so we can fusion summon using it, using our face down. Summon our big boy. Tribute off to summon the Buster Blader back from Grave. And we can't attack directly with this. Draw sense low level. And he concedes. Before we can even do any Before we can do any synchro summoning there, we could have gone into like, I don't know, some synchro monster and popped that or something. Either way. That's going to be the replays for today. Hope you guys enjoyed them. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And hope to see you in the next one. Laters. Hey, big brother, can I watch SpongeBob? Shut up, Mokuba. I'm busy flagging YouTube videos to compensate for the fact that I have an extremely small penis. Oh.